I've been taking dahlia cuttings today and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, what you need is a small pot to put your cuttings into. Uh, this one is filled with half uh, horticultural grit and half peat-free compost. It's a couple of cuttings I've taken there. I'm just going to take another one um, to show you how. So you've got your parent plant. Uh, this is um, a dahlia from Peter Nyson. A amazing, very healthy growth at the moment. Um, there's about probably six or seven stems on here. And really, you don't need any more than three to five stems per plant. Um, otherwise, it gets really congested. So there's plenty of opportunity to take some cuttings for free and also not do the parent plant any harm. Now, the idea is that when you take a cutting, you are literally taking a stem. So you choose a, a, strong, healthy, a strong, healthy stem and using a sharp knife, like a pen knife, um, cut the stem very close to the tuber and in fact if you can nick a little bit of the tuber off so just like take a little slither of the tuber uh, that's even better uh, don't worry if you don't and you can't do that and the tuber's too buried in the compost it is a little bit buried here um, but if you can get a little sliver then it just helps the new um, new stem to take root so i'm going to take you can see here this is my tuber and I'm going to take this stem here. So again, like I said, using a sharp knife. Um, I don't think you can see that very well. So I'm going to cut down. There we go. There's a perfect cutting to propagate um, to get more of these for free which is perfect so you can see here i've taken a little sliver off the tuber um not sure if you can see that there there's obviously going to be a little scar that won't do this plant any harm at all you can just leave that as it is and with this cutting i am going to remove these bottom two leaves and just leave this pair of leaves at the top um, if you take a bigger cutting just remove the lower leaves leave two at the top um, you don't need all the, the the leaf growth on there and then that literally goes into a new pot i've pre-watered it so you don't need to do anything else the reason i put horticultural grit in there is that uh, when you're taking cuttings you don't want them sitting in um, damp soggy compost and the uh, horticultural grit just helps with drainage so um, make a hole pop it in and there we go so I've got three here I think that's enough for that pot and don't forget to label it and there we go they'll grow into new uh, dahlias for free